We should be thanking Allah all the time. Yeah. Thanking Allah all the time. Yes, sir. That's our, what I'm giving to you as a picture of our excellence as a community. Yes. That should, that should make you feel so thankful. You should be so appreciative to Allah because I'm nothing. That's right. One, this ordinary person, a great one man with his pen, he was a great writer, can't recall his name right now. He said, I'm nothing but a speck of dust. And he was great in the eyes of people. He said, I'm only a speck of dust in the universe. And I'm fortunate to be seen. Huh? Well, my spirit is that. That's just my spirit. And uh, please don't flatter me with big names and titles. Because you love me. I know you do. Most of you who flatter me, you love me. I know you do. But understand this, that you make me very uncomfortable. I don't, it doesn't soothe my spirit and soul. It's not pleasing inside of me at all. I only want the respect that you give a decent family member or a decent brother and sister in this community. That's all I want. Because God has done all the great things and we're just fortunate to be picked up by him for the work. Hmm? Yeah. The circumstances and the time. We were favored by circumstances, time and circumstances. And we must have some decency in us, but no great genius. <laughs> and God picked us up and made us the genius. Uh? <laughs> yes. So it doesn't go to my head. I thank Allah. That's divine protection. Doesn't go to my head. So please don't think I want to be seen. I don't. Don't think I want to be praised. I don't. Don't think I want a big name now in history. I don't. God will give me what he wants for me. And if he, if he gives me no mentioning in history, I'm happy. And if he gives me mentioning in history, I hope it's to benefit others because I don't need it. You understand what I'm saying? So in the second part of this khutbah, I'm asking you to accept what you've been given from my Imam Rathadim Muhammad. Treasure it. And see that it goes on, goes on to the decent ones and the best ones in the next generation. It has to be kept for as long as America and the earth abides. Huh? I'm serious. I'm very serious. So preserve it. Work to preserve it. And it, what you don't understand, thank Allah for what you do understand. Huh? There's a lot you don't understand. Thank Allah for what you do understand. Be grateful for what you have. And he will give you more. I know because that's what he has done for me. Every time he gives me this, this smallest blessing, oh, I'm so thankful for it. And as he increases my blessings, I'm thankful for it. And I know that what is keeping this, this blessing, these blessings coming, is just that position in my soul. I'm appreciative. I'm appreciative. The absence of gratitude, the absence of thankfulness in your life makes you a partner with the Satan, the ungrateful one. That's what he's called in scripture, the ungrateful one. He's not appreciative. God enriched him too. He did. Yes, he did. He said, I have not created, I have neither created men nor jinn for any purpose except to, to serve me, serve God, mm -hmm. to serve God. And uh, Iblis, or who became the Satan, the popular Satan in time, he was from 
among one of the jinns. He was the one of the jinns. So in his form, he's jinn. And when he says to God in Quran, I'm not going to accept this vicegerent or this governor that you putting on earth, Adam, man. You made him of mud fashioned into shape. You made me of fire. So he boasts that fire is a higher creation than soil, common earth. Hmm? He boasts that fire is a higher creation. And when, when God told him to accept the man, the creature, this creature that I made with my two hands, mean my two controls, accept this man that I made with my two hands, he refused, <laughs> became stiff, exaggerated his importance, and defied God, disobeyed, hmm? and was puffed up in pride. Huh? So he himself, he himself owes his creation to God. He owes his original creation to God. Is there hope for his original creation? Yes. For a party of the jinn heard the wonderful recital of Quran. And they said, we have heard a wonderful recital. Neither man nor jinn should, re should, should re reject it. That's what a party of the jinn said. So we thank Allah. We thank Allah. And I'm going to ask you who don't feel too tired and not too pain, hurting too much from sitting so long. I'm going to ask you when the Juma prayer is over to stand up and shake your leg a little bit and sit back down. I want to give you something that's not for the Juma. For the Juma is for everybody. This Juma is for everybody. Immigrant Muslims, I don't care, red man, white man, black man, whatever color. This Juma is for all of them. For God is doing a wonderful thing in the ghetto. It won't be long. It won't take too long. But I want you to stay with me for a little longer after the Juma. Let us pray. Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallaita ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alamin innaka hamidun majid subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamun ala al mursalin walhamdulillahi rabbil alamin amin Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. I shall do an la ilaha illallah, I shall do an la ilaha illallah, I shall do an Muhammad al Rasulullah, Rasulullah.